I am going to present to you an next project that we will use to analyze the situation, to solve the problem and to evaluate whether it's interesting or not, introducing some changes. And this is how the user interface looks like. The project is this one here. Okay. This is the user interface we saw. And we can always check the Mod Explorer, so where we have several sections. And in particular, we have the input with the number of stations, the tasks of the stations, the duration per task, whether there is a preciseness constraint or not between two tasks, and the number of stations we have <coughs> uh, in, in every step. So we might have, as an example, we've seen so far, we've seen so far is one um, unit per station. So there, we don't have any parallel um, working uh, station where we have two or three that will allow us to have a faster pace at that station. Then we have the model itself with the variables. That This first one is the one that will tell us whether the task is assigned to a station or not. Let's take a look at it. It's a binary variable. Okay. We have the cycle time. And then we have the constraints. I've done something differently here because I've created explicitly this variable, which is the time that we have assigned to every station given the tasks that we are assigning to it. And that's why we have this constraint here that we didn't have. And we don't need it, but we have it here anyways. And we are um, computing and the total workload for a station is the summation of all the durations that are assigned to that task. And then what I'm doing is this cycle time, this variable is larger or equal, instead of this expression here, I'm just using uh, this uh, variable. I'm adding this, um, this element here, this parameter, that allows us to have a, 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 a workload that is reduced in the number of of units we have in a station. So if we have a total time of 10 minutes assigned to a station and all, you only have one, that means that every 10 minutes we'll have an article being processed there. But if we had two, on average, we would have uh, a product shipped to the next station every five minutes. Okay, and then we have our mathematical program and then we have some output variables to store the information, okay? but Let's get back to the, I'm going to close everything but the, the user interface and this is where we're going to explore different situations.